If you would like to request a video, send an email to questions at newstitchaday.com. How to knit in the round with double pointed needles. For this technique, you will need a set of double pointed needles and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor Lion Brand for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Vanish Choice line in the color Olive. Double pointed needles are used to knit in the round and although you can knit in the round with circular needles, um, you're generally going to use double pointed needles to knit smaller circles than you can with the circular needle because uh, most circular needles only go down to about 9 inches. Um, and they get really difficult to use even at that size. Um, so it's hard to do things like socks um, or mittens in the round and the tops of hats without using double pointed needles. Now some people have difficulty um, manipulating all of the needles at once so I'm going to show you how to properly use double pointed needles. So the first thing that we're going to do when we're working with double pointed needles is to cast on and this is going to be the same whether you're working from the top down or the bottom up. What we're going to do for this one is we're going to cast on 20 stitches and obviously you're not going to cast on your stitches directly onto the double pointed needles all at, all at once. So let's see, we're going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 we're going to cast on 20 stitches right here and then we're going to transfer them onto our double pointed needles. So that's 10, 20, okay, and so we'll cast on our tw 20 stitches onto one needle like you would normally if you were going to start like a scarf or um, some other type of project that you'd only use two needles for. Okay, so now that we've cast on our 20 stitches, we're going to transfer them evenly over all of our double pointed needles except for one. Now, double pointed needles usually come in sets of four or five, and since I have five needles here, we're going to transfer them onto four of those needles. So, it's pretty simple we're just going to take five stitches and move them from one needle to the other. Okay, so here's our first five stitches. Then we're going to take a new needle and add five more. Okay, and then we're going to do that one more time with a fourth needle. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, now this is where people tend to have a, the most trouble with double pointed needles, and that's the process of both joining them in the round and making sure that we don't twist the needle like this because that's going to create a twist in the work as we go. So one way to do this is to just um, keep knitting across and so so you'll essentially knit almost all the way around and then you'll join on the next round and then you'll use your tail to close the gap once you weave in your ends. Um, and that way works just fine. Um, what I usually like to do is add another stitch and then we will take the last stitch that we cast on, or this is the first stitch actually, and what we're going to do is we're going to create like a little slip knot over the stitch. OK, 
Okay, so we're going to pull that stitch off. We're going to place this stitch over it and then put the original stitch back on and then we're going to tighten the yarn down and that's going to hold that pretty well in place okay so how do we knit in the round with double pointed needles and this looks really crowded here but usually you would do this with a hat or something so there would be a lot more stitches you'd probably have more like 20 stitches per needle uh, as opposed to the five per needle that we have right now so when we're knitting from double pointed needles we're going to take that spare needle that we've got and we're going to use that to knit the stitches off of one of these needles so the beginning of our round is right here so we're going to knit this stitch as normal and then pull that stitch off so as we knitting we are transferring the stitches like we usually would the double pointed needles allow us to move the yarn off in both directions so I can move these stitches from this needle onto this needle on this round and then when we come back through this needle can move all the way to the other end and we can knit off of that side so that's why they're called double pointed needles and then as we've transferred the needles off of this needle onto our new needle this this needle that we just transferred from becomes our working needle so we'll go to the next needle and we'll start knitting that one now always make sure that you're not wrapping your yarn over your needles as well because we don't want to accidentally create a yarn over so we just keep knitting like normal and it's going to take a little bit of practice to learn how to manipulate all these needles at once and I'm not going to say that it's the simplest thing in the world, but once you get the hang of it, it's not as hard as it looks. You don't have to be holding on to all of the needles at once. You really only need to be holding on to the needle that you're, you're going to be working with. And that's how you knit in the round with double pointed needles. Want more New Stitch a Day? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com. New Stitch a Day is a Craftery Media production. Check out our other shows at fiberstory.tv and yarntripper.com. This video is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution No Derivatives 3.0 unported license, which means use it on your website. Put it in your patterns, but please don't change anything.